Make sure you rub it in. Don't miss a spot, otherwise it will stick. Pour marinara sauce mix and a half a tablespoon of water into a bowl. Stir the mixture with a spoon and set it aside for later. It's made in America. How horrible. I usually only eat things made in hell. Smells just like arsenic. And one and a half tablespoons of water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Now, if you don't have this pre-mixed mix, a blood of an X will do. Set this aside for assembly later. <laughs> Next up in the spell book, make the cheese. Ooh. Pour one garlic herb cheese mix and one and a half tablespoons of water into a bowl. Bowl. Mmm, smells like a dying franchise. Shout out to you, Chuck E. Cheese. One and a half tablespoons yet again. A one. A two. Fun fact, this is made with the same ashes of the five Supreme Court justices that recalled Roe v. Wade. That's what brings out the true flavor. Set aside for assembly later. Next up in the spell book is, ooh, we get to make the glaze. Now I'm curious why a pizza needs glaze, but here we are. Pour one egg wash mix and two tablespoons of water into a bowl. I got a bowl. I got the mix. Done. You know you're the perfect right amount of dehydration when it looks just like this. Two. Actually, when it starts to look like tarantula piss, you know you have a great thing going on. Next up on the spell book, Make the pizza dough. Pour one pizza dough. Now as I prep this, I'm gonna actually share a little history with you. See, my first job was actually not at a morgue, contrary to popular belief, because my name is Morticia Morgue, you get it. Actually, my first job was working at a combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell. Yes. You take something chock full of preservatives, add water, a little bit of hate, and boom. You have a recipe Martha Stewart is going to yearn to eat. Now, Martha, I know you're thirsty. So I gave you a little extra. This book lied to me. It said one tablespoon, and we're not getting anywhere, so I'm going to add more water. This obviously needs more water, and this book continues to lie to me. Now, split the dough into six equal pieces. I'm going to ignore all that. Instead, I'm gonna make one big chunky boy right here on this pizza. Step nine, use a pastry brush or put your finger and spread some glaze on top of the dough. Good thing I have a good old brush. When it starts to look like dialysis and tarantula piss had a baby, you know you're ready to cook. Yeah, just brush it on lightly. I may use this to apply other things, like the sauce. I'm gonna brush it on. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look horrid? We need the cheese. And there we have it. A perfectly made Now it's time to cook. It smells just like home. We're gonna let this rot and incinerate for approximately 14 minutes of pure agonizing fun. We'll be right back after this short break. Bad easy bake. Bad. Oh, sorry. It seems like the easy bake oven is ready for our delicious, vile pizza. Wow.
Mm. If you've ever wanted to eat Play-Doh, this is the same fantasy. And just like that, we went to hell and back and prepared a meal with our Easy Bake Oven. But let me know how you feel in the comments below. I'm Bitch Pudding, cosplaying as Morticia Adams. I'll see you next time.